Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today's vlog will give you an update on the genetic improvement program, and also we'll visit Mr. Joel Estate Farm. But some important is that I want you guys to understand the power of water for feeding your animals. It's a very important nutrient that a lot of farmers, you know, overlook. Um, animals will drink up to 10 liters per day, and even lactating animals, 15 liter guys. So get your water buckets in that pen. So guys, we're in St. Elizabeth and we're about to start the synchronization process for our animals under the genetic improvement program. So let's listen to Dr. McHugh. All right, so we're here with Mr. Swaby. Um, so we're back post um, assessment of the herd. So we'll commence synchronization today. Um, and it will last over a couple of days. Um, and pretty much synchronization um, entails bringing the animals um, on heat in a tight window, synchrony. So we'll commence at, at this point. Um, what I like guys is that Mr. Sweeby knew we were coming today so he prepared the animals for us. Um, they're all in one little area. We'll have a little run up and down to do. Just so have to capture them and do it in. So remember guys, prepare for us when we come on your farm to do the AI. So guys, we're, on, we're back on Mr. Chin Farm to do some of the, we're going to start the synchronization process. So the identification system help us. We tag these animals with orange tags so we can quickly come in and identify the animal, quick identification of the animals. So once you see these tags inside here, um, you know that we selected that animal for the AI program, make our life easier than to be trying to filter out everybody again. And we have some paperwork trail for records, but the IDs really get you. And you can physically see it. You know, it's right in front of your face. So two candidates for the AI program. Um, Why well, you have to book the animal like that, miss? Yeah, go on, so. What are you doing now, Doc? What's that? So we're going to load the cedar into the applicator. And going to insert it into the goat. So cedar in place. Just do a little sanitizing of the Volvo. Not wanting to insert any germs. The lubricants. Right. Okay. Hold it. Or you want the saddler? I think it's a saddler. Saddler. Yeah, yeah saddler. Saddler. Let's go back. Alrighty. See, there's in place. That's it. Doc, uh, oh, give me a small report on today. What do you think about the candidates for the AI program? What do you think they can improve overall or what we, are what we're missing? So, today was pretty much today was entailing um, rolling out the synchronization program. And we'll check on the animals in a few days to end that synchronization and to bring them on heat. Then we do the AI. A full day. Um, seeing two farms and us doing our second assessment. Overall, uh, the condition of the animals, we're satisfied with that. Um, for the most part, the, the clients were compliant but um, they still have some way to go so we hope for the best with the project for the success of the project from our standpoint and we'll continue to work with the farmers towards that end so going forward i was lucky enough to get to meet up with joel in his neighborhood um on one of my weekends so let's hear joel problem joel is still from when i'm a kid to him die um when the one of my kids and that and call 
call them, call, call out so one of the kids and die. You don't know what to do. You go out of the vet, you try what them to do, and I'm still die. Yeah, so the sports are alone now, you know, in the meantime. But you have to do the milk car, uh, especially if you don't give out the colostrum yet, you can take out the thick colostrum and put it on your freezer. So just in case you have a next kit. And then you get the colostrum, you get from Mr. Colostrum, you have the colostrum in your fridge with your feed the animal. Oh boy. Alright. This is the animal that gave birth. Um, and she lose. How many kids shot Joel? One. One and he lost the animal. But what we can say from this animal so far is that this animal clearly is in good body condition. So I don't think it's a nutritional problem. Or even if it's a nutritional problem, it just might be some micronutrients. Um, but to me the animal is in the plane of nutrition I think is shown that this animal is okay um, Some of the problems that we see so far though is that it's a community pen Right and then we see the flooring is not ideal and perfect So a kid could burn a kid could get lodged in between one of these spaces and just that stress alone can You know have a be a problem with the kid um, We also see a lot of feces you know that can lead to a lot of bacteria that itself can cause a problem with the, the kid. So we want to discuss today some of the simple things them that we want to look into um, to reduce kid mortality as farmers. Alright, so in Joel's case, I think Joel has um, a serious environmental problem. When you talk about kid mortality, we have to first look at the nutrition. We talk about that. I don't really think this animal is in a bad condition. But I, what I would like to check for is the animal birth weight. There is a serious correlation between survivability and the animal birth weight. If the animal is underweight, say for example, and it, it's kind of breed specific. So say if you have a boar goat and the boar goat comes below 5 pounds, the chances is probably a 95% chance that the animal won't survive. That's something that we have to look into. Then we have to look at genetics. Genetics meaning, is she giving a lot of milk to her animal? Is, does she have good modern ability as one? Right? And outside of genetics, we have to look at the environment. In this case, I think Joel has an environmental problem. Joel needs to make some adjustment to his pen condition. So separation. I see him have one separation here. I think this would be perfect he, if he had the mother inside there, had the floors done properly. The chance that the kids surviving when they are separated is much better. And to have them in a community setting like this, where one can buck one and she about She can buck one and she get premature birth. Or one can buck the kid on the ground and cause the kid to die. So we don't really know what the problem is. We have to just look at the condition and try to improve the condition. What we do in a case like this where we see that the kid die and the mother probably still have a lot of milk inside of her. We definitely want to milk it out. We can milk out the colostrum and store it in our fridge. And we can assist her with just releasing some of the pressure that her other would feel because it's been packed up with milk. Um, so what I always recommend to sometimes is that you want to check with your vet and get some antibiotics. And I would definitely run an antibiotics treatment on this animal because you don't know what is really going on the inside. If it was a stillborn and it's because of some infectious disease or something like that. Um, the next thing that I would definitely look into is to check in her for matcha. See if that she wants to worm out because I want to try to reduce the amount of stress that she's under. That can probably lead to her death. Um, the next thing that a lot of farmers not looking into is the is if that you pass out the afterbirth. A lot of farmers, the animal just dropped down dead, they don't realize that the afterbirth is still inside and it can cause a problem. Um, and the next problem that we might face so is pregnancy toxemia. So what I would normally tell farmers to do is to ensure that, you know, in that last six weeks, I'll probably add some glucose water just in case to prevent um, pregnancy toxemia cases and kind of improve the nutrition plan. I'm a really doubting that this jewel problem here. The animal is in excellent body condition. Excellent. Um, free animal that had one kid inside of her and just gave birth she's maintaining the condition so i would we don't suspect that's probably the environment and the management overall you know the floor is not perfect in a community based like pen and that's the point i'll be stressing on so we're going to try and milk out some of the colostrum so him can save it and put on him freezer or him can feed some of the younger kids that him have here with the milk not to waste the milk and that's important in growth I mean, what you do for the penny though still is... No, I change it. Yeah, as in, nothing wrong with what you have. But, some of the spaces you, know, you have in between them pallets, I'm going to try to fill them out. Because, say, you want to keep them on the ground. 
um, and you have to do more routine cleaning. So you have to take up the pallets them yeah, and clean that, it out. And clean them out. Yeah, yeah man. Um <coughs> me no see you have no much water in here for them. So I'm full up this water and I'm done it. And I'm done it. So you have to get more pans with water inside here for them. Um, I'm glad to see how the liquid shade there so we cover the kids them from rainfall and them something. And so then you think get get them off a site. You just take them off off a site and can't come out. So you have to do it on your neck fashion, yes, brother. This is the way. You have to go left and these are things for you to do. To get up your game. You're right to me. I, I, like, I like how they look. I like the quiet yeah, animal. Them. Nice. I make the biggest go them jump them and he pay a pay and pay the money to jump. How much you pay for jump? Five grand. Five grand? I'm gonna charge you for the jump. Okay, well that is good. Well that's a good strategy for kind of pigeon. Okay, no, I don't I get good breed of goat already. Yeah, they look nice man. Tell me I tell them to go. No, they have more than one in a success. So, and when you use the small breach here, she, she, she pregnant already. No, I'm going put her out to me. How you feed she now? Where you feed her, Paul? Bob feed me. What kind of grass you feed me? Are you in grass? Sometimes I run them a bush sometimes. Oh, you have to go out work, so you have to find a way to carry feed to them. Yeah. Alright. Let's spin, let's spin. What did you do last time? Nine, alone. Just a jump alone for a boat. Just a jump. So I don't want you to so go out and jump my boat. And yeah. Uh, so that's why I spend my money to make fun of the I get you, and if you lose the kid, then you probably can't go down the drain. Yeah, so that's why what the hell is the day, man, call my friends and I want to go to the day. You don't know. You don't know if I have a little bit of money to pick it up or what. I was recently voted as the 4H chairperson for the Youth Aggravate Council. It's a situation like this I like to bring forth to the powers that be. I'm here we have a young man that has used ICT to better himself as a businessman with wood production. Um, he has also improved his networking ability using ICT and also use it as a medium to promote himself and get a lot of calls about his operation. But missing from this component is more programs like the REAP program that we have at the Four Rich Club that provides access to capital to further expand and improve their operation.